Imagine a day without semiconductors. No smartphones or computers, no internet, no microwaves or TV remote controls. Modern life and the semiconductor industry are truly interconnected, and the major trends in the industry reflect this reality. The first set of trends relates to broader trends in technology. Trends in end-use products will always lead the way. A second trend is the broader economy's increasing vulnerability to shocks in the semiconductor industry. A third trend, in many ways a consequence of the first two, is that governments are increasingly taking action to protect national interests related to semiconductors. Let's look at these trends in turn, starting with global tech trends impacting semiconductors. For one, consumers increasingly want devices of all kinds to be smarter, and this means more semiconductors. Cars today have dozens, if not hundreds, of features requiring semiconductors. Entertainment software, automatic transmissions, and software that assists with driving. The expansion of smart technologies is everywhere, including in many processes consumers don't see, like the software and sensors that run transport systems, factories, and supply chains. More immediately, the growth of AI is driving increased demand for one type of logic chip in particular, the Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, which is highly integrated and provides tremendous processing power. Unlike CPUs, another high-powered logic chip, GPUs are better at multitasking, breaking down complex tasks into multiple smaller calculations that can be executed in parallel. This makes GPUs better suited for gaming, their original use case. And, as it turns out, this makes them better suited for other massively distributed processes, like those needed to train artificial intelligence systems on massive data sets. The fast-growing AI industry is therefore highly reliant on GPUs, like NVIDIA's latest leading chip, the A100. And this reliance is a perfect example of the second trend, the vulnerability of the economy to shocks in the semiconductor industry. Semiconductors are not easily interchangeable. Each is designed for a specific task. Plus, a small number of players dominate the key segments. For example, TSMC has nearly 90% share of the market for some of the most advanced chip types. Further still, a handful of suppliers dominate the market for key manufacturing inputs, like the lithography equipment. If any one of these solutions or companies were to fail, the whole industry and the entire economy would be disrupted. And this has already played out to some extent. A 2020 shortage in chips triggered a slowdown in automotive production lasting longer than two years. This all brings us to the third trend, government action. Because of the importance of semiconductors in nearly all sectors, and because of these vulnerabilities, governments are highly invested in securing their national supply of semiconductors. And this is leading to increasing geopolitical tension and governmental actions of two types. One, efforts to boost domestic capacity, and two, efforts to limit or challenge the capacity of other countries. These dynamics are playing out most clearly in U.S.-China relations. Both the U.S. and China are attempting to boost their own domestic capacity. In the U.S., the 2022 CHIPS Act provided nearly $300 billion in funding to boost research and encourage companies to establish manufacturing facilities. China, likewise, has made sustained investments in state-owned semiconductor companies. And as a result, the Chinese company SMIC is now a competitor in the foundries market. Further, Chinese-backed actors have been accused of attempting to steal semiconductor IP from companies like Samsung and Micron for the benefit of Chinese domestic players. In response, the U.S. government has taken action to limit China's capacity. For example, by implementing export trade controls, the U.S. has banned the export of certain chips, like the GPUs from NVIDIA needed for AI training, and certain fabrication equipment to China. Semiconductor companies are responding to these tensions, looking to reduce their geopolitical risk by diversifying their own footprint. TSMC is now expanding beyond Taiwan, building a plant in Arizona and Intel is building new plants in Germany and Israel. 
Many believe that the future of global trade and geopolitics more broadly will depend on the future of this critical and dynamic technology.